Hi, it's Matt here for Newshooter.com, and today I'm going to be looking at radio mics, and specifically Sony's new UWPD series. Now, in all honesty, I haven't been the biggest fan of Sony radio mics over the years. Coming from an ENG and documentary background, I've used various types of Sony radio mics in the last few decades, and I haven't found them to be that great. Uh, I must admit I am a big Electrosonics fan and that is my go-to radio mics, but you need some backup mics. And I have been using uh, Sennheiser G2s, now they are an older version and I actually hate them more than I hate the original Sonys. Uh, I found the build quality horrible, they used to break up all the time, the connections were really bad. So I was looking for a, another version of lower cost radio mics to run as a second radio mic or even a third radio mic in situations where it was needed. So I decided to purchase these ones and give them a go. So let's have a look at the specifics about the Sony UWP-D series. Now the Sony UWP-D series comes in a variety of different configurations. I'm gonna look at two of them today. One of them features a body pack transmitter and also a receiver. And the other one features an integrated transmitter into a hand mic that also comes with a receiver. Now, they are pretty well made, this is one of my first observations. They are an all metal construction, they are very solid, they don't feel like they, were gonna, they would break really easily. And uh, what I really like too is specifically on the, uh, on the receiver, it has comes with two aerials as opposed to some of the old Sony systems in the past that had one aerial and they were very flimsy. Now these ones are really sturdy and when, what's really great is you can rotate the angle of the antenna anywhere you want all the way around to get it into the best position because we all know when we sometimes put these radio mics on top of cameras uh, you know the the, the pre-configured aerial may be in the wrong place and may be touching metal or maybe hitting your camera and in the way so you really want to have the versatility of being able to move around the aerials uh, to put them in the best possible position. Now a couple of the other great things I like about these radio mics is that they both have, uh, on the back here, they have a USB uh, input. So you can not only power the radio mics if you want uh, using a USB source, if you happen to have some sort of power distributor or uh, you know you run out of power somewhere on the road but you still got uh, you know something that may charge your iPhone or something for instance, you can still run these radio mics in an emergency or power them full time if, you've, if you're using that USB connection from some type of powering source on your camera. I did find that the batteries in these lasted an awful long time, uh, you know, my Electrosonics is pretty, is pretty power hungry but these uh, tended to run for hours and hours without any problems at all using rechargeable batteries which is another really good feature because I don't like, you know, I operate one man band a lot of the time, I don't like looking around to see if suddenly my radio mic is shut off or it's run out of power. Now the other thing that was really cool that I liked about these, that has been featured in, and I must admit, in other brands of radio mics, but it's great to see Sony finally integrating it, is the ability to sync them up using infrared. So what you can do is you just turn on the transmitter and hit sync. It finds the best possible channel with the least amount of interference. It then comes up and asks you to sync. You press the button, then you hold the, uh, the uh, transmitter near the receiver and it will, by infrared, send that frequency and sync it up to your transmitter. So it's a really good system. You don't have to go through and manually punch in and try and find frequencies. It does it, that, it, does it so quickly and automatically for you, uh, you know, or another really good uh, feature. Now, the only thing I found a little bit distracting, I must say, with this is they don't give you any instructions in the that come with the packaging. They give you a good old-fashioned CD. I don't know what Sony were thinking, but all the instructions come on a CD. I haven't been able to find them online, so to find out how to use some of these functions, I had to go and find a CD or DVD reader, because most of the new computers don't feature one. Put it in there, open it up to see the manual, so I wish they had have included an actual paper manual or made it downloadable somewhere. I mean, maybe it is out there somewhere, but they don't make it uh, terribly easy to find if it is. Now both of them feature a nice LCD display which is very bright, you can actually increase the brightness on there, change them through. The menu system is pretty straightforward uh, to, to operate once you've, uh, you've read the instructions of course. Um, now the receiver is quite good, it's got a nice, uh, it's got an output and a headphone output so you can monitor it directly by just plugging your headphones in. Uh, one of the things I really like is the connections are really sturdy. Sony's thought about it, you screw them in, they are rock solid. So I have no problems with those popping out or uh, causing interference or anything 
along those lines. Uh, as I said before, the construction is really good and even all the accessories that come with it uh, are great. It's great to finally see radio, you know, um, wind socks, for instance, that screw on, that don't just sit on there and fall off and you've got to go and buy a new one. These ones actually screw on. They also come with a nice little mic clip. They come with belt clips and they also come with a nice little plate uh, that you can see here. It comes with a cold shoe mount that you can put straight onto a camera. None of these are optional accessories. They all come uh, included in the kit. Now I usually use Electrosonics as my primary radio mic because I really do think they are the Rolls Royce of radio mics. But the Sony's a really good value for money. For about $700 you're getting a really good quality product. I think value for money versus performance they seem to be very good. Um, I was using them on a recent uh, documentary shoot that I was doing and it was uh, shooting at a lot of military installations and places where there was a lot of RF traffic. Uh, and I found that to work really well. I don't think their range is any better or worse than, than any other radio mic there out in the market. I mean, that's a really hard thing to test because depending on the environment you're in and what frequency you're on can all determine uh, its performance. But I did have uh, virtually no problems with them at all. I found them very solid. They, the audio quality seemed very good. They didn't use a lot of power. Um, they're very robust. I like the way the aerials moved around. So all in all, like a really great mic. Now the other one that I can show you is, this is one of the other versions here that you can buy. Uh, I'm not sure of the model number straight off the top of my head, but there's two different versions. You can get an integrated um, plug-in pack in the bottom to put into, uh, into your own hand mic. So there's this really good version here that comes in a hand mic. The wireless uh, radio mic is integrated inside, comes with a normal uh, receiver just like this one here. So another really good uh, hand mic if you're working in ENG uh, in the ENG world for instance or whatever uh, to get microphones in and out for uh, for reporters or to put on uh, stands as well. It does come with a little clip to put onto a stand uh, for press conferences or events or things like that. Uh, a very handy another good option out there. So if you want more information about the Sony UWPD series you can go to the Sony website and check it out.